What's up, guys? Jersey Johnny here with Cody and Sasha. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick thing. I'm going to release a video showing you how to do it. It's, it's a little complicated for me to just show you right now, but this is my Steam Deck. And I want to show you how uh, well the new Pinball FX runs. So you install your Epic Games launcher in desktop mode and now I'm in the game uh, you know the game mode and you'll see it'll load up here pretty quickly um, so I just want to show you uh, how how the gameplay is you know without streaming it from uh, from something else, you know what I mean? Okay, so here's my uh, here's my pinball FX. So I load it. It actually loads pretty quick once you get into uh, once you get into what do you call it? Uh, you know, yeah. Uh, so there you go. Sorry for the angle; it's terrible. But there it is. Um, and I have some hacks on here that that, uh, that make it that make it what do you call it? Uh, it's reflecting a lot. But I just want to show you when you first when you first get it, it's gonna run slow. What you gotta do is use the right bumper buttons, okay? Or actually. You know what? You don't even have to. You can use your finger. Or this button up here will bring up the settings menu, okay? You go to settings. And what you need to do is in video change your resolution because it's going to be set for 1080p. Just change it to 1280 by 720, okay? And then under advanced. These are settings you want. Turn off anti-aliasing, all that. Put your frame rate to 60. You can keep your shadow and post-process quality at high. Uh, motion blur, I don't like, so I turn that off. If that's up to you. But once you do that, then everything's responsive. Before you do that, like you can't, you can't really move around and stuff. It's, it's uh. It goes super slow, like it's you know. So I'll, I'll just launch a table here. Let me see. There we go. Play. There you go. Y changes your view. I like one W. X uh, X is your is your plunger, and then your flipper buttons are your uh, your flipper and bumper buttons are your uh, flipper and your trigger and bumper buttons are your flippers. Uh, stock like default, it's just your triggers. But I find the 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 bumper buttons are more, um, you get more response, like quicker response on it. Now, obviously I'm playing only with the right flipper, but uh, it plays perfectly fine. All the animations are on, all the graphics are turned on. This is one of those newer tables. Uh, you can see I could, it's real responsive. You just gotta set it to those settings. And that'll and that'll make it. If you don't, when you keep it at 1080p, it it like chugs along. And what's crazy is you know on my on my regular machine I run an RTX 3090. So obviously I run with all the graphics turned on and stuff. But on this little screen, you can't even tell the difference. That's why you turn off all the all that. Uh, anti-aliasing you know for the jaggies because you can't really see the jaggies 
on the small screen. Uh, so there you go. That's uh, Pinball FX on your Steam Deck uh, through through the Orion. Or, Orion, what is it? Orion Origin? Epic? I don't know, I have so many on here. Epic, Epic Game Store, right? Well, that's it. And then you're out. Just steam. I'm going there to do what? Use your powers? Exit and out. To find out everything you can about Michael. Yes, don't worry about it. he's in danger to all of us. Back. You know, Michael brought me back. And back and forth. We'll go to the library. You're only loyal to yourself. And then you can see here's my uh, hey, these are my favorites. Sorry, ladies. If Eve's dropping paid money, but I'd be richer than Amazon. There's like some good stuff on here. Uh, another thing that I recommend going everyone going put on is. If you besides Emu Deck, that's that's cool, Emu Deck, but Coin Ops Legends 3 for the Steam Deck is awesome. Uh, if you haven't seen it, you can download it, just Google it. Coin Ops uh, Legends 3 for, for the Steam Deck. And look at it, it's friggin' awesome, man. It's friggin' awesome. Look at it. Look at it. It's a. It has all the options that you. That normally come in a coin ops build. Uh, you know, what I'm saying like you can you can put on all different themes and stuff. I'm in all games right now. It comes with 685 games. This is this is arcade. Uh, and they have consoles and favorites. As you can see, I got all my, all the main ones that are favorites. They're all on here. They all come right on here. The, the controls are all set for you. All right. So, uh, and to exit out is the same as you hit both this button and, and that button. Just like you would like on a... A Legends Ultimate, and it brings you right back to the thing. And then you can find the artwork like that if you want to add it. Um, I didn't get the artwork for the for this screen yet, but I just wanted to show you guys. So that's Coin Ops Legends Three for Steam Deck. Download it. You install it. You can you can get it right from desktop mode. If you have a install a Chrome browser, you don't need to like go to your computer and download it and stuff. You can do it right right to your Steam Deck, and then you'll have coin ops on there, along with everything else. Uh, you definitely need to. I mean, Epic's Game Launcher. I had to put on there because I wanted some of my games on there, but uh, if you have an Xbox Series X or X Cloud is awesome because you're gonna play you're gonna play high quality games at at 60 frames per second you know with no problem now this isn't connected to my Xbox you see I, I clicked on the cloud uh, you know the cloud version not the uh, not the remote version so this is just the cloud you see how quick it loaded up and I mean they have fours and five you know what I mean like, I'll just I mean, load a little battlefield it, what? now this is all going through the internet you know what I mean and I just loaded battlefield 4 that's not installed on, on anything here you know on the steam deck sorry about the TV uh, there you go. So Battlefield 4 just loaded what? from all uh, over the internet. There's no files on my on my it doesn't take up any space. None of none of the uh cloud games take up your space. Um 
I love Battlefield 4, so that's why I was playing it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Good campaign. Zoom. It's resuming my my saved game. And you see six o'clock at six. The Y button, you can skip the. Right. I can't do this one. I can only move side to side with <laughs> with uh <laughs> with that hand. But look, I could. I'll use this hand. The run, look, fifty-eight. See, it's it stays locked at at uh, at sixty FPS. No problem. You can see it's responsive. But freaking awesome. Throw a grenade for no reason. So that's uh that's why I say everyone man install your if you have xCloud install the xCloud link to your Steam Deck because you're getting triple A games maximum graphics is, are are turned on this isn't really a good uh cuz we're inside a building it's not not showing off a Battlefield 4 is an old game but you guys know outside uh, how all the destruction of the buildings and stuff are um, it, and it doesn't take up no space it plays perfectly because obviously it's more they're using more powerful hardware than it's in the Steam Deck and, and it's, it's great it loads quick you see how quick it loaded it's, I can't believe it's all done online uh so, yeah, uh, get out of here. If it if the screen looks like washed out too, it's because, let me see if I can show you. It's because I have Decky installed. Um, and these are all my plugins, and I have Vibrant Deck. And so I'm used to playing on OLEDs now, you know guys, I'm, I'm crazy for OLEDs. And I, the screen on the Steam Deck I think is his weakest point. And with Vibrant Deck, you can change the saturation. It's usually on 100. Um, I bump it up to 200 because I'm crazy, but I'll try and get it. I'm going to... Let me hit, I think I got to hit A to select. Yeah, okay. Go saturation. All right, so I'm on 200. Now look on the left. Maybe you'll see the colors uh, or not. Okay. What's going on here? Here we go. Oh, A. Okay. There we go. All right, so it comes on 100. Oh, I'm sorry. Here we go. Now look at it. That's what it. That's what it's normally as on Steam Deck. With with the I have the brightness all the way up. When when you put in uh, Vibra Deck, Vibrant Deck on it, and you turn up the saturation. Some people like it at at one fifty. Which is a good spot. It's way better than a hundred. I mean, you see that at a hundred, it's just, I mean, it's just, it just feels like it's washed out at a hundred. Like when you touch with the brightness all up, a lot of people like 150. Um, I like 200. And there you go. 
I think it looks way better. It, it almost feels like an OLED screen. I mean, I know you can't tell by me filming like this, but uh, especially with the reflection and stuff like that. But it's, it's super colorful and it's awesome. So let me get out of here. And there you go, and he's I'm trying to get a good look. I also got, uh, I also have the an, a hack on that makes it, you see how the, my tabs are round? And I also have uh, the icons on, so it tells you what are good, um, if it's a good Steam Deck, you know what I mean? So, there you go. So, if anyone wants to learn more about the uh, the plugins, I'll, I'll I'll happily go over those for you. But uh, I just wanted to show you those quick uh, quick couple of uh, things. Def I advise Epic Games Launcher. The xCloud uh, app. The remote Xbox remote app is if you want to play in your house your Xbox games on your Steam Deck. I mean, because you'll have, obviously, you'll have different games than the cloud offers. But the cloud offers awesome games. And, uh, Coin Ops Legends 3. Get it. It's awesome. And it barely takes up any space. So... All right, guys, it's me signing off. Don't forget to like, subscribe, still giving away that uh, RTX 3080 Ti graphics card, 12 gigabytes, the EVGA version. Uh, we need to hit 3,500 subscribers. So I really need you guys to sh share the videos if you can uh, so we can get people to just join up and pick a winner already. All right? Cody, say bye-bye. Sasha, say goodbye. <laughs> All right. Everyone, goodbye.